What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today we are watching episode 3 of Invincible. Um, this show has been great so far, I mean I'm only two episodes in, but weirdly enough that's like a quarter of the way through this first season, so we've gotten through quite a bit. The show has been fantastic, I've been really enjoying it, I like, I like a lot about it, if I'm being honest with you, I like a lot about it. But one thing that's been gnawing at me, because in the previous two episodes I've been wondering why Omni-Man did what he did, right? Like, that's that's the one thing I've been thinking, is why did he do what he did? Why did he kill the Guardians of the Globe? Why did he become really irritated and, like, really quick-tempered the second Mark got his powers? Like, when Mark got his powers, Omni-Man started acting real weird. And so, again, I can't remember if I said it in the last episode at the end of the video, but it's it's the one thing I've been thinking of is that's the reason he killed the Guardians of the Globe is that so he can take over. You know what I mean? Because like I said, they were Earth's number one defense team, right? Like Teen Team is the number fourth, and then there's the Fight Force people or whatever. So my that's my only thinking is he's taken out the defense of Earth so that him and the rest of his people from his planet can come in and just take over Earth. Because I, th I think I had said, like, I we don't know for certain now. Because of how weird Omni-Man acts, we don't know for certain whether or not uh, his people actually go to these other worlds and protect them. We don't know that. I'm thinking now maybe they don't go to protect them, they go there to conquer them. You know? They just go there pretending to be on their side and then destroy them from within. And, well, to be fair, I don't have any evidence supporting that as of yet, so it's just a theory. A film theory! <laughs> Omni-Man acting the way he is is my only supporting evidence for that claim. But as the show continues, I'm sure I'll get more evidence. Or we'll just see what happens. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I'm excited to get into this next episode. Um, if you don't know, I do have a Patreon with full-length reactions, link in the description. But without further ado, let's watch this episode. And so will others like me. New heroes answering the call. New champions ready to risk everything to keep this planet safe. All inspired by these great souls who came before us. The balls on this man, bro. The balls on this man. To talk to everybody and act all good when he was the one that murdered them. War Woman was from a different age. Darkwing... <clears throat> well, Darkwing made his own kind of solitude. It was a rare, lucky few of us who found someone who understood our path. I can't tell whether or not he's being sincere here, but because he kind of sounded sincere, I wonder if it's like, do you think he has like a split personality? Does he have some other kind of personality inside him, controlling him in the evil side kind of thing? I hope not. Because that absolves him from the responsibility. But, I don't know. I could have been my mom, putting my dad in one of those holes, or me. This could happen to the Guardians of the Globe, it means that none of us are... <laughs> means that none of us are invincible. Oh, man. Every time. Every time. I don't love it any less. And do what? Hang out? Go buy comic books? After this? Hey, watch the tone. It's okay. It's not. This is new. I get it. But you need to keep that separate. What happens out there, the mistakes, even the victories, you can't bring it home. Okay? No, that's fair. That's some good parenting, though. He's right. Sure. He's right. Don't let the job affect your family life. That's a, that's, a good, that's, a, that's a good life lesson. I respect that. Although, again, I'm very conflicted as to whether or not to trust or believe anything Omni-Man says. Pizza and telling Mark not to feel anything? This is the life. Mark has to learn that. What if Mark and I were burying you today? I'm not so easy to kill. Yeah, well, I'm sure that's what Red Rush told Olga. Hey, he could run fast, okay? It's not exactly one of your premier superpowers. How long do they live? That's, that's the one thing that's coming into my head. Because it seems he has no issues with mortality. You know what I mean? Like, he is not concerned about dying at all. And a bunch of people that he just said, like, when he first came to Earth, they were the first people to welcome him in. I mean, I know he murdered them, you know what I mean? But, like he says, it's part of the job, but, like, to not be affected at it by all, like, at all? 
you know, he's probably seen a lot of death then, and I guess gotten used to it, which begs the question, how long does he live? Have they said how long they live? I don't remember if they said how, how long they live for. I mean, if they're that powerful, though, I imagine they live for quite a long time. Like, they don't have the same lifespan as you and I, 100%. Grayson, Grayson, Mark Grayson. Who? Mark? From school? <laughs> I know, I'm oh. with you. Yo! Oh, God, you thought well, I was serious. Why'd you have to do that? I thought she was serious, too. I thought someone pulled a prank on him. That was cold, Amber. Anyone I hope know? he gets together with Eve. I like her a lot. I think Mark and Eve together are dope. Although we haven't seen much of Mark and Amber yet, so I don't want to judge too quickly, but... You okay? Hiccups. Hmm. No! Hang no! Is her... Rex. Is Rex... Is Rex in there? Rex? No! Eve. No! Hang on a sec. You piece of shit! Rex said you're dating Ouch. What's up with her? No I, hope, I hope Eve takes on Rex and whoops Those his ass. Or I hope someone takes on Rex challenge. and whoops his ass. <laughs> will succeed not, and perhaps most importantly, the strength of your character and spirit. Nice. That is what truly makes a hero. But isn't there like an age requirement for this ride? Am I wrong? This seems weird, right? I don't know. You're here. Isn't there a dick size requirement? I'm sorry. Oh! oh what? Your tiny dick? I mean, the way you've been strutting around- He's already you, dead! You must be compensating for something. He's already dead! Stop! Stop going! Nice. Well deserved. Let's go. Monster girl, whoop his ass. Oh my. think I'm adorable. Oh my. Oh my. Get it! Whoop his ass. I'm, I'm okay with this. Rex is in no way a hero, like at all. Okay, enough. Get lost, Boy Scout. Yes, Mark. Let's go. Fucking watch who you talking to. Watch who you talking to. Once he's recovered. What? Final member. What did he just say? Along Thank with you all Rex? For coming today. Are you out of your mind? You were literally talking about like their character. No need to How on earth would you pick Rex? To remain impartial. Bro, but what? I understand what it's like for the world to look at you and see one thing, never knowing the truth of what's inside. Mm. How can you understand? You're a robot. Ah! Uh, how do you? How do you just fall right into the fucking hole that he was talking about? How? How is he explaining to you and then you just dive headfirst into it? Come on. Obviously, Robot is not just a robot on the inside or something. <laughs> but I like Robot a lot. He's one of my favorites. Rogue supervillain. Public in danger. Eve's already en route. Here, so we can talk on the go. Eve's gonna be there? Or did that just sweeten the deal? Ha! What? No. <laughs> uh, where, where is this? Uh, that's funny. Who are you talking to? Oh no! Oh, um, yeah, that the thing with the the phone. It's um, it was a friend of my dad's, and oh, I forgot. I promised I'd help him with this thing. Um, uh, now, good cover. He's getting a taste of that Peter Parker life. You don't have time for your loved ones or anybody who you're interested in because you're too busy playing hero. We're oppressors, racists, slave owners. I give you a new god worthy of worship. Bow before Doc Seismic. I mean, I was kind of with you up until that last part. Really bad. I love how casually he holds that thing. <laughs> god knows how, how much that thing weighs. <laughs> what the hell, man? Alright, that was cool. That was cool. God damn. Dude, I love how they make such obscure powers and like things you would never think of and make them look so dope. Like actually using powers correct for ones. Because there's always people who are like, why didn't this person do this thing? And like the writers never think of it. But like these guys are really using like all their powers, all the different ways they could use it. It's super sick. 
Shit. Whoa. That was awesome. The way he just torpedoed through the mountain, that was sick. That's the tricky part of the job. Balancing what you want to do with what you need to do. Proud dad, mm -hmm. proud dad. <laughs> Remember, you're not just a superhero, Mark. You're a Yo, the way Mark is answering this, this is so relatable. When your dad just keeps rambling and you're trying to get him to stop, and you're just like, mm, mm hmm, mm hmm, yeah, 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 mm hmm, mm hmm, you're not saying nothing. Just like that. Also, it might not be dead. Huh. That thing ice. looks like Cthulhu, yeah, bro. Oh, good God. <laughs> 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 that had vine energy of that dude. You know the one where he gets scared and he's like, I wasn't even, I wasn't even scared, bro. <laughs> oh, damn, Eve is going through it. I feel so bad for her. Bro, Mark, be with Eve, please. Who's shooting fireworks? Better not be Rex. I don't want to hear it from him. No, I don't want to hear it. Nope. Eve, don't you dare. Eve, don't you dare. I promise. Eve, do not. The new team, Rex. Thank God. I would have been so pissed if she said yes. I would have been so pissed. Fuck. Rex, throw yourself off a bridge. I couldn't care less. <laughs> no, 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 she's gonna see him with Amber. No, fuck. Come on. Fuck. Good for you, Mark. No! 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 Eve is so much better! No! Why? Oh my god, that's Robot! Give me an update. Oh my god, that was Robot! The deep end yet? We still have work to do, but I feel confident in the progress we've made today. No way! No way! Why did Robot have to be bad? I liked him so much! Fuck! I'm pissed! I'm pissed! Oh, the air. That's what gave it away. Oh, snap. Oh, snap! Well, there it is. Another great episode. Another great goddamn episode. Um, first and foremost, Eve over Amber. All day. That's first off. Um, Eve seeing Mark kissing Amber, that, that hurt me. Uh, I was really hoping that didn't happen, but it fucking happened. That sucks. Uh, Rex cheating on Eve with duplicates, that's also messed up. That was tough. Really feeling bad for Eve this episode. Um, her and Mark teaming up though to take on Doc Seismic, that, that was awesome. Um, also really love Doc Seismic's powers, super cool. Love how he was utilized. Um, yeah, I was saying it during the thing, but I love how this show has so many obscure powers. Like there are plenty that aren't that obscure, but like there are some that are just so stupid <laughs> or like something you've never really seen before. Cause like when you would think about it, you'd be like that wouldn't really make a good power. But it's, it's like a very common thing that happens in these superhero shows and movies and such is when, you know, the audience is just like, why didn't they just do this? Or why didn't they just do that? Like, if you have this specific power, you can technically do yada, 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 yada. Because like in the shows, of course, like, like, like one show that really suffers from this really badly is The Flash for DC TV, you know, where it's like they have the power and they're like, why didn't they just do this? You know what I mean? There's so many things where you're like, that would that doesn't make any sense. The character could have easily just done this and it would have been over with in a second. But, you know, it doesn't make good writing or whatever, but that's why in order to make it good writing, you have to ex make it so that those questions can't be asked, obviously. And so, like, I really like how this show does that with all the characters' powers and stuff. They really understand all the different aspects that each individual character has and, like, what their powers are capable of. You know, like just if you have sonic waves or like if you have a specific power that you think can only do one thing of course in actuality you can do so many different things and i think this show really does well at showcasing 
each individual power doing a bunch of things instead of just one specific thing to fit the narrative you know what i mean so i really like how this show does that uh getting the new guardians of the globe that was an awesome scene seeing all the new heroes try out for each other um seeing i loved that moment with uh, black samson and the other lady they didn't give us her name but she kind of looked like like an electric electrified version of storm pretty much like a yellow with <laughs> yellow lightning instead um when he like helped her up after the fight i loved that like when robot was talking about character that was super awesome because of course that's a huge thing um in heroes you got to be good in heart in order to truly be a hero so that's that was awesome i like that moment um robot robot being bad why why you gotta hurt my heart like that show i loved robot i loved him he was one of my favorites and now he's bad and this is the second time like I feel like the show is just going to constantly challenge my my likings. Like we were so crazy about Omni-Man and then he killed the Guardians. We were loving the Guardians and then the Guardians died. I loved Robot. Now Robot is bad. Like everything just keeps changing. Like you get it and then you love it and then they just rip it out from underneath it. You know what I mean? Like they just rip it out. The second you start getting comfortable with it and enjoying it, they just rip it away from you. It's, it's, I don't know. This show just loves to do it. It's hurting me, but it's, it's good, obviously. It's, it's nicely written. It's good ideas. It's, it hurts me on the inside, but for the show's sake, I like it. But yeah, that was a great episode. That was fantastic. I'm excited to watch the next one. Excited to watch the next one. It's been really good so far. And I, I, we're, we only just finished episode three, but like, we're almost halfway done the show. Episode four is the halfway point. Crazy. But that's about it for me, full reaction on Patreon, and I'll catch you guys next time.